This is the Terramaster F8 and a Ford Able 8 bay all SSD NAS with the newest tech. This right here is the future of NAS systems. It is super compact, light and completely silent. Well, almost there is just a fan on the bottom, but no HDD noises at all. And not to forget, it is extremely fast. 10 GBE connection straight out of the box. Blazing speeds, it is super robust and very easy to set up and use. Compared to an HDD NAS with eight base, this right here will take up not even a fifth when it gets to the footprint. It has its very own dedicated operating system, the brand new TOS 6 made in-house by Terramaster. And of course, you can also choose various types of RAID configurations so your data will be safe and secure. And thanks to their proprietary T-RAID and T-RAID Plus, you can even utilize differently sized SSDs without any issues. So all in all, this right here is a system without any downsides. Looks and sounds amazing, right? But is it actually that good? Well, let's find out. New drip. I got the new drip from Terramaster DF8 NAS. 8 bay all SSD. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen link the best deals for you. Yeah, now let's check it out. So there we go. That's the box with the top right there. And check this out. This is the future of NAS systems, all SSD. Of course, we have all the specs and small print on the side. Then this on the back side and one last side right there, a beast in the palm of your hand. So it's not only extremely fast, small print right there, but it's also super tiny. So the best of both worlds basically. And not only that, it's powerful, speedy and absolutely quiet. So that's the soon to be standard of NAS systems, if you ask me. So on top we have the envelope with the paperwork, then we have the nice padding and here we have the device, so small. So let's rip this open and now Let's pull it out. Wow, it's super light and small. It's incredible. And it's still an eight base system. And down here we have more padding and right there another box with the rest of the accessories. So let's get right to it. Now look at that, the brick is almost as big as the NAS. Just kidding, but you get the point, the NAS is super small. And we will also get the cable for the wall outlet, of course. That's the plug for the NAS and nice Velcro strap on top, nice touch. We will get the tools, spare screws for the base, of course. And also yet another box that will slide out. And in here we will, wow, that's, that's amazing. We will get cooling brackets for for the SSDs, that's amazing. And also the needed pads to transfer the heat. So that's a really, really nice touch right there for keeping the whole system cool. And not to forget, we will also get a cable. That's a regular ethernet cable right there. And lastly, let's check out the paperwork. So user manual in nice silver shiny letters. And in here we have the quick installation guide, multi-language, another installation guide right there, and the warranty right there. So if you register, you can extend it, and also this right there. So to recap, paperwork, ethernet cable, cooling brackets, hardware for mounting it, the screwdriver, and of course, the cable and the power brick. And with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions, and then of course, to a close overview. And here we have the actual device, super tiny, super small, cooling fans on the bottom and really nice rubber feet for, oh, look at that. Those rubber feet are amazing for isolating the vibration from the fans. We have a little screw back here and yeah, that's pretty much it with the on off button on the top. So yeah, let's take a close look. So as you can see, we have the top side with the cooling grill right there, as well as the button, on off button nice button. We have the rounded case or hull all the way around with this note right there. And on the back side, we have all the connection ports. So USB-C, USB-A, the Ethernet, HDMI, and this is where to power it, a reset button, and also this little screw right there. We will check it out in a minute. And again, nicely rounded corners, super large rubber feet, super soft for isolating the vibrations so that they won't spread through the underlying surface. Looking really solid. And when we remove this screw, it's as simple as that. And we can slide out the inner hardware and remove the hull. And this is what it's looking like, really dope. So we have this side with a RAM stick, very easy to exchange and also for base for the SSDs. Also right here is where the fans connect to the board. And on the other side, we have cooling 
for the motherboard, four more bays, and of course on this side we also have the ports connected. Very simple but amazing system, very efficient, just dope. Connections to the back side, slide it in all the way, and we can simply close it back up by screwing in this screw, securing everything in place. So yeah, really cool system and I can't wait to test it. Not bad, right? So let's set it all up, check out the operating system and then of course test it. So here we have the setup, here we have the NAS and here we have an SSD, M.2 SSD. So let's slide it out just like that. And here we have the base numbered from one to four and five to eight. So let's insert it at base one. It's the same as on any motherboard, just remove this screw and then we can slide it in, of course, at an angle. And we just need to press it down and secure it with the tiny screw right there. We could also add the heat sinks that we got with it, just use a pad and then stick it on, but we're not going to go crazy. So this shouldn't be needed as we have the active cooling going as well. So we just need to put it back together, slide it in and secure it with the set screw. So as you saw, inserting M.2 SSDs is much quicker than preparing the HD slot. Yeah, now I just need to hook it up, connect it to the computer over the 10 GBE Ethernet port, and then we're ready to configure it. So we are hooked up and connected. So let's turn it on by pressing and holding the button right there. And we heard, we heard the beep. F8 SSD plus, let's go. And as you can see, the button is also the LED and it's lighting up green now. And it's currently booting up. The cool thing is we can also connect it over HDMI and then we can get more info during the boot up. Looks like that. If you're interested, if you're curious. Here we can also easily find the IP address. So when we type it in and hit enter, we will end up on the TNAS initialization page. So we still need to go through the setup so we can check the compatibility for the HDDs and this will lead us to the TerraMaster website right there. So here we have all the recommendations. So let's start and let's go. So we're now loading the bootloader. We're now going to initiate the SSD, let's go. It's very intuitive and easy currently installing TOS. So in my case, I have problems with automatically downloading the package, but that's no problem. We can also download it manually. For this, we just need to select the base and then we have the F8 SSD plus right there. Click start and just download the package. So let's wait for that to download. We're done. Let's click manual and let's search for it. It's right there. Next. And just like that, let's wait for the configuration. Configuration. That's looking great. And this will take around five minutes. Another great life hack would be to download the TNAS PC application for Windows or, or for Mac. And with this, if you can't find your device, just start up the software, it will recognize it automatically. And with a double click, you can get to the right IP address. If you get this warning, then just click on more info and then just click on and ignore the risk. So first of all, we have to accept the terms of service. Then we can name the device, create the user and create a password. When it's done, click next. Next, we need the email. Yeah, and just like that, we are done. So check this out, TOS 6.0, let's log in. I'm connected locally, by the way, so that's why the NAS cannot access the internet. So we have tech magnet and let's go. So as you can see, TOS is like any other regular operating system. We have a taskbar with the recent tasks and programs. We have the data manager, the file manager. Here we can also create shared folders. We have all apps right there. Here we can also check out the system, configuration, all of that good stuff. Most of all, let's check out the volume. So we still need to create one, but first of all, let's check out the drives right there. So here we can see all the base, seven empty, one is good, in good condition. And here we can also check out the disks as well as scan them for health issues. Normal, perfect, no warnings. We can see the temperature, all of that good stuff. Right here, we can create snapshots or backups. This is a really sophisticated system right here. We can check out the system configuration. We also have a Docker manager, so we can load up Docker images, which is extremely extremely powerful or rather Docker containers. And lastly, up here, we also have the support if needed. So let's go to volume and create one. Let's create a new one. We can go for single disk or T rate. And if you're interested, T rate is their proprietary rate array system that can utilize different disk sizes very easily without losing any capacity. It's absolutely genius, really cool. So of course, TOS 6 also has this. So T rate is nice. This will delete everything, but that's fine, of course. And let's go. We have the volume one. Let's call it main, just click next and go next. 
and let's do it. And here we have it. So now we can check out the pool and now we can also create a folder. Public is already created. And with that, we can now also map a network drive for the computer. So map a network drive. Let's go for T and let's go for IP backslash public. Click OK. Now we need to log in once again. Remember the credentials and OK. And just like that, we are connected. So check this out. We now have the C and we have the public T. We can rename this to Terramaster. And as you can see, we have 1.8 terabyte of available space. And we can create a new folder right there, call it test. And now when we go back to the TOS, we can go into the public folder, volume one. We have the homes, tech magnet, and we have public. And as you can see, we have the test folder in here. We could have also gone for the home slash tech magnet route, but in any case, it's the same working principle. Yeah, and just like that, we have this NAS initiated. As you can hear, there is pretty much nothing to hear. These fans are super silent, very quiet. And with a local connection, you could easily bring this computer and the NAS with you wherever you go. It's very light, compact and robust. And when you fill this up with eight SSDs, you will have a lot of storage at your fingertips. As you saw, it's super easy and fast to configure and to use. The operating system is a clear 10 out of 10. We also have the desktop application right there. Let's refresh that. And as you can see, it's now configured and ready. We will get all the infos. Here we can also do a little setup as well as other tasks. And connecting it to your computer is also super easy as you saw. And when we grab a very large file like this one, 800 megabytes and drop it in here, we can see that it is extremely fast. That is crazy. So again, so let's check this out. 283 megabytes per second. So you can move terabytes in a matter of minutes. It's super fast. So all in all, the F8 SSD Plus gets a massive thumbs up from my side. So as you saw, great hardware and outstanding build quality. It is so light and compact. You could even bring it with you when you go traveling or anything like that. Just bring your data center with you. Why not? Compared to HD systems, this is very resilient to shocks and bumps. It is just very durable all in all. So you could use this as a portable system as well. Just look at it. It's so small, absolutely no problem. All SSD NAS systems like this one open up many new possibilities for brand new use cases as well as when it gets to the placement. But of course, you can use this one over the web as well as a fully fledged cloud storage system. And thanks to your redundancy and many available RAID configurations, you don't need to worry about losing any of your data. And this system is also not limited by spinning disks, so you will get absolutely blazing speeds when it gets to read and write speeds. So all in all, the F8 NAS by Terramaster brings a lot of value to the table, especially for a price point. This is a mega value deal right there that makes an all SSD NAS configuration affordable for the very first time ever. And that, of course, is a definitely trippy. So yeah, check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.